how to play crossplay between Minecraft Bedrock and Minecraft Java. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser and you want to go ahead and search up for the website Eternals.com. Here is the website over here. This is a well-known website and it's completely free to use and this will allow us to play crossplay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this blue button that says play. And then what are you going to do is you're going to either sign up to Eternos if you never used it before or if you already have an account make sure to go ahead and log into that or you can sign in with your Google account so I'm going to go ahead and sign in real quick all right once you sign into your account you should get a button that looks like this it will say create server so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just press on this one there may be some ads and that is so that the website is actually free so you don't have to pay anything so I know it's a little bit frustrating to see those ads but please be patient because this will be worth it all right guys so you should get a screen that looks like this so you want to go ahead and make sure that you're on java edition and don't worry guys because you're still going to be able to go ahead and play crossplay so let's just rename it to uh, uh crossplay right over here just for the purposes of this video so once you're done with that go ahead and just press on create and once you're done with that you should get a screen that looks similar to this the next thing you want to do is you want to go over ahead and go underneath software and press on change then from here, go to the paper slash bucket icon right over here. The icon kind of looks like a puzzle piece. So go ahead and press on that. And the next thing you want to do is you want to select on the most recent one, which is 1.20.6 as of the time of recording this video. And from here, what you want to do is you want to install paper MC and this will basically allow us to play crossplay. So go ahead and install it and just wait for it to download. Then go to the left side and then press on plugins. Then once you're over here, what you want to do is you want to go on the search bar and you want to search up for a plugin called Gazer. You should get a bunch of options, but the only two ones that you really need in order to make this work is Gazer MC and Gazer Skin Manager. You can get the other ones if you want. However, these two are the only ones that you primarily need. So let's go ahead and select on Gazer MC right over here. And as you're able to tell, there is a bunch of new versions. So go ahead and just download this one. All right, guys, once you download a Gazer MC, go ahead and go back and then go to Gazer Skin Manager. And then go ahead and install the most recent version, which at the time of recording is a 1.7. So let's go ahead and install that real quick. And then bam, it should be good to go. And once you're done with that, go ahead and tap back on server. Then go over here to this button that says connect. And this will give you the port to your crossplay server. It's really important that you copy it down just to make it easier, or you can write it down on a piece of paper. However, it's really important that you have your port. All right, so once you copied your port, the next thing you wanna do is you want to go over here to the side and select on files. Then once you're over here, go ahead and select on plugins. And you should see a Gazer right over here. And the one that you want to actually press on is the one called Gazer Spigot. Press on that one. And then you should see an option that says config.yml. So go ahead and press on that option. And then it should pop this up over here. And basically what you want to do is you want to change the port to your server port. So right over here on line 19, what you want to do is you want to delete this port and then paste the port of your server that we did copy earlier. And there's two of them. So there's one for better rock and there should be one right over here bam there okay on line 57 go ahead and delete that port and put in the port that you did copy down which is the port of your server and once you're done with that go ahead and press on this green button that says save okay guys now once you finish doing all that what you want to do is you want to go ahead and start your server so i'm going to join the server on both bedrock and java so bam okay it should be starting the server all right boys and once your server is online you can go ahead and join it from both bedrock and java dish now keep in mind it may take a little while for your server to actually get started it took me way longer than expected so make sure to be patient because it will totally be worth it all right boys all you need to do is go ahead and paste in the ip address and you should be able to go ahead and press done and join the server all right boys i am now on the server now to prove that this is actually legit i'm gonna go ahead and actually make like a little hole over here and then join it on bedrock edition so bam i made a two by two hole right over here so i'm now gonna go ahead and join the server on bedrock all right boys i am now on minecraft bedrock edition i got the ip and the port and i'm gonna go ahead and just join the server real quick here we are this is the exact location that we spawned in on java and as you can tell we do have our two by two hole that we did create earlier in the video so this totally does work and by the way if you're curious i'm currently using a texture pack but um yeah guys if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe see you later french fries